Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new properties panel in Adobe Illustrator CC 2018. So we're now in Illustrator CC 2018 and you can see our panels on the right look very much the same as they always have done. And we can go up to Window, down to Workspace, and this is now called Essentials Classic. So they've kept that classic Essentials panel. And of course, you've got lots of other presets here that you can fully customize however you like. But the new Essentials Workspace looks something like this. And this is contextual as well. So the goal with this is to make everyone's life a little bit easier. So at the moment, we have nothing selected. So Illustrator is showing in this Properties panel on the right options that relate to the artboard or the workspace. So we can switch guides on and off really quickly. We can view the transparency grid, rulers, on or off. We've got lots of other options down here, snap options, guides, and you've got document setup and preferences if you want to jump back to that. So everything that relates to the artboard, the workspace, and the document can be seen here with nothing selected. And you can, of course, have tabs along the top. So we've got properties and just layers, but we can, of course, add other ones there. And you can see I've got a plugin font self here and we can add all of our options down here if you want so don't worry this is all still fully customizable but let me show you how this contextual panel works so if I add a whole bunch of content in what this panel does now is it intelligently looks at what you're doing or what you've got selected in Illustrator and shows you options on the right relevant to that object so if I select this circle here you can see this panel changes and it gives me the transform panel, the appearance panel and some really popular quick actions. So I might want to bring this in front or send it behind another object. I might want to align it to the pixel grid. Selected art is already perfect. Well, thank you, Illustrator. Um, you have the recolor option here. So if you'd like to change red to blue or blue to red. So again, this is a really useful set of quick actions that relate to the object selected. And you've, of course, got fill. So you can click that and it loads up your swatch panel or your color bars. We can add effects. So usually these can be found up here at the top of the screen. And if you do need more options from the transform panel or the appearance panel, you've got the more options icon here. And you can just open that, make some changes and then close it down. Or you can click this here and it will open up the appearance panel in a separate window. Now, if we select more than one object, so we'll select these two squares we get a few more options. We get our align options. So we can select whether we're aligning to the selection or the artboard. And we can then align them cent centrally, horizontally, or vertically. But we also get pathfinder options as well. And again, you've got this more options icon if you need a few more alignment options or a few more pathfinder options. So essentially, this is showing the most popular, most used options, but then you've got access to a few more options if you need them. And again, we've got two objects selected. So it's showing us a couple of quick actions here, like grouping them together or now ungrouping them. And you can see as I select these, they change as well. So we can jump into different modes. And again, with text, if we select text, we of course get the character panel and the paragraph panel. And again, we have tons more options all available there if we need it. So on a smaller screen, this does take up a little bit more space, but it just makes it a lot easier for someone who might be newer to Illustrator rather than having tons and tons of panels. It's all contextual as well. So whatever you're working on or selecting in Illustrator, it just shows you the most widely used options for that object on the right hand side. And the only thing that I've really found a little bit difficult with this at the moment Bear in mind this is version one, so I'm sure that this is going to be tweaked and improved upon with time, is if I want to center something on the artboard. Now, as you saw then, I can just drag it and try and find the center manually, but if I have a complex illustration and I want to center it on the artboard, with this single object selected, there's currently uh, no way to do that, so I'd love to see an option for that here. However, as I mentioned earlier, this is fully customizable, so you can just go to Align, it brings up that panel and I can drag this on here. I can add it up here. I can even add it down the bottom here and show more options. And of course, this does introduce a scroll bar, but you know, it's absolutely fine for me. I can just switch this to align to artboard and then use that here. So this panel, everything here, here and here, it's all fully customizable. And although naturally by nature, a lot of we humans, we resist change. This is a really, really good one. And it just makes 
so many things much easier once you get used to it. So give it a go um, and see how you get on with it. And there we go. That's a look at the new properties panel from Illustrator CC 2018. Guys, if you'd like to become a patron of the channel and get access to the monthly private live streams, free downloads, sneak peeks behind the scenes, or chat with me directly, there is a link to my Patreon in the description. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. <laughs>